Hello everybody, Grace Two Plays, and we're here checking out a game called Stellar Overload. So the guys over at Cubicle Drift were cool enough to sponsor a video and give me a code to check out Stellar Overload. This game is in early access. I'm gonna have links in the description below if you want to go check it out. It's over in the Steam store. So this game, okay, so this is like a giant mishmash of everything. This is a open world sandbox adventure creation. Dungeoneering, building, voxel style. It's awesome. It's a it's a space procedurally generated style of game. The amount of creativity that you can have in this game in building stuff and construction and everything is freaky. Uh, we're gonna get in here in just a second and I'm gonna kind of show you. We're gonna do story mode. I messed around a little bit. I am by no means an expert in this game at all. In fact, the creativity in this game is probably far beyond anything I could take appropriate advantage of. But I just want to give you guys kind of a little a little showing of what the game has to offer. The developers seem to be consistently updating it, which is fantastic. I like to see it when individuals are always staying on top of their game. It says here, start an adventure and liberate the planet Mercs from the Imperium Machina. So the idea is that Stellar Overload was like a cosmic event that almost extincted uh, stuff. Uh, and one thing that you're going to see is that there is a universe out there. And you can go to different places and different planets. I, I don't know if I'm going to get that far, but I'll kind of get the opportunity to at least show you in the distance the other place. It's cool. Let's just let's just do a story mode here. Obviously, there's multiplayer. Um, we're going to do single player. I'm going to do... Oh, universe parameters. Yes. We're going to call this... I don't know. And we're gonna call it. Oh, look at that! Look at me fail at typing as usual. Spoon Sylvania. Uh, I'm gonna click on this die a couple of times and generate a world that I hope doesn't end up killing me. Easy, normal, hard, and custom. I'm just gonna leave everything on normal. I saw this down here. Block physics. I don't know exactly what this does, but I'm gonna leave it like it is. There's also a death penalty and hunger management. So this is like the survival aspect of the game as well. You can, like create food and stuff like that. It's weird because there's a construction aspect of the game where you could build basically anything, like anything. Like, obviously you could build like a house, but you could build spaceships, like things that have physics to them, and you could build... People in the workshop are building like worlds. It's, it's freaky. So let's just keep things the way they are right now. We're gonna get started, hop right in here. Uh, oh, create your avatar. Uh, yeah, Greystill Plays is fine. Obviously we can choose to be a very masculine individual here with fantastic hair or a female everyone has the uh everyone seems to have the football the football uh stuff over here to keep the glare off their eyes although it's inverted i guess it's slightly lighter here maybe this is the tattoos or something equipment color look at that it start right on gray that's what i like to see i guess if you wanted to you could be really flamboyant uh there's a i was gonna call that a pink but that's more like a strawberry i don't know my my color perception sucks let's go with gray because it makes perfect sense. So here we are. Cue the cutscene. The cutscene's actually really cool because it's like, um, it's like drawn art, almost, this cutscene. So you're gonna see the, you're gonna see the game's artwork in a little bit, but this is like, uh, this is like the drawn portion of the game. There's our planet Mercs, and yes, the planet is cubed. Actually, all the planets are cubed. It's really cool. And... Even though you think that you would fly off the side of the cube, the world reverts to the appropriate level mint that it's supposed to be. Am I not wearing pants? I just realized that. Been eating sushi, I guess. It looked like we had some chopsticks and stuff up there. Oh, there's Joe. In case you didn't know, we're immediately greeted by uh, Joe, this this Richard Simmons individual over here. Jeez, how can you sleep so long? Gray still plays. Well, when you're doing YouTube 20 hours a day. You won't have, you won't be able to have a beautiful athletic body like mine if you're always asleep, you know. Yeah, I know all about it. Let's get a move on, sleepyhead. Go talk to your brother upstairs and meet me in front of the house. We're already late for our zen training, so come on. You don't seem to have any problem to feel zen, you huh? Now, there's gonna be, I think that there's some, um, some translation stuff here. I believe that the developers are French. Not 100% sure on that. Uh, again, you can check it out in the links to kind of give you some more background on the developers and kind of what they've been up to and everything. But you're gonna notice like a couple of words out of place here and there. It's not horrible though. Actually, this is probably one of the few that I've seen. But there's stuff for all the blocks and stuff too. Probably too much for me to read through and notice. Move with the WASD. 
and move the camera with your mouse, run by holding left shift, and activate the related option in the game's menu, interact with F. Okay, so pretty normal stuff there. We do have a codex with the tab button. <laughs> So yeah, this is like your tutorial extravaganza over here. It talks to you about everything. When I started playing, I immediately saw this spaceship and hover bike. And I was like, I need to have it now. Eventually we do get a hover bike. In fact, I, I'm hoping we're going to get one soon because it's freaking sweet. Uh, find Xander upstairs. So, okay. So first thing, before I do anything, let me just show you guys something. So this war, okay. So this is our world, right? Everything you see here, you can make all of this. And we can destroy all of this too. Eventually we're gonna get like a digging tool and it's gonna be introduced through the tutorial and everything. But look at this crap! Like everything here, all these trees, like the greenhouse, our little house, all this stuff is creatable and destructible. I love that. Oh, and there is a, you could bore right through the world by the way. Total world destruction, big fan of that too. I hate being limited. Um, crap, how do I get upstairs? I feel like a jackass. I think that there's, oh, here we go, good. Luckily, there's some steps over here. Artwork of the lovely treehouse that we have. Xander is not in his house. Well, thanks. Oh, luckily, Xander loves leaving post-it notes of all the things that he doesn't like in life. There's a bunch of X's. I don't know what that is. There's a little bullseye right there. Maybe he's playing darts up here. There's a spot even above this. Uh, I don't think that there's anything up here. The little window area. Let's go back down here and talk to Richard Simmons and see what he has to say about this. Tom Foolery, Joe, let me know. What? What do you mean by not there? And you don't even know where he's gone, obviously. Your brother's really uncontrollable. This is crazy. All right, let's just do a quick training and then go find him. It's Zen training, boys. This is what you need when your blood pressure's as high as mine. Today, we'll only do flexion extension movements. Okay, easy, huh? Well, at least easy for me with my beautiful muscles. You. How do you call it? Crouch, jump, whatever you, however you call it, but do it. Call it however you want, but do it. Okay, good. So that's pretty normal stuff. We got the left control button and then space to jump. No big deal. Let's go ahead and do that real quick and finish up with the tutorial. Talk to Joe one more time. Joe, let me know. <laughs> and immediately Joe is uh, giving us the, the double middle finger right here. Okay, that was weak. Damn weak, I'd say. Well, thanks, buddy. Tone and Zen Gray still plays. That's my motto. And this motto really gives me beautiful muscles. Don't you think? No, Joe. I don't think that way. How do you like that, scumbag? Although his nose is probably, it's a lot smaller than mine, so lucky on him. If you want to know where your boisterous brother's gone, you, go, you should go talk to Master Lee King Pei. His wisdom will guide you. Go see him. He's uh, uh, still on his small island in the middle of the village at this time of day. Fantastic. Oh, there is a day and night cycle. Oh, that reminds me too. I got to show you guys this. Open your quest log with a J key. I will do so. I'm fantastic at listening to instructions. And when I say fantastic, I mean I'm terrible. Over here, look at this crap. There are planets in the distance, and those are real. All that stuff is real stuff that you can go to. It's crazy. So all these cubicle planets, if you get your spaceship and you can fly off, the, you can go and visit those. That's pretty neat. The sun is going down, so it looks like it's turning into night here. You're gonna notice bottom right hand side, all this stuff, like I said, is creatable. And all this stuff is destructible and inventoriable. We can grab it all. Everything from the lights to the freaking moss to the plants to the trees, everything. So let's go ahead over here to the. Is that a squirrel? Can you pick up squirrels? Come here, squirrel. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is. Look, you can't pick. The squirrel is definitely. It's an item. I don't know if you can destroy it or what. I don't think that we can touch anything yet. I think we have to do a little bit more of the tutorial. Lee King Pei. With the fantastic Lee King Pei music that transitions when you go into his hut over here. Of course, as done as he is, he's got a butterfly. I don't know if that's a pet of his or what. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh, there you are, Gray Still Plays. You're late today and you seem worried what is going on. Xander disappeared again. Hmm, with the Imperium Machina robots roaming around our planet, it really worries me. So there's like, there are these robots that you will find on the planet. Uh, and they're kind of the antagonists, so to speak. That is a lot of pots over there just randomly skewed about. I just, my, my squirrel brain is just noticing that. They supposedly appeared on the pretext of pacifying the region, but I can clearly see what they're doing. They only plant the seeds of Jair. That's right, if we've learned anything from the Empire in Star Wars, pacification generally is done with a laser rifle. 
Your brother is a hurricane. Do not walk in his footsteps. Believe in knowledge. I don't know, man. Being a hurricane sounds freaking awesome. It seems he left hastily without even binding his genetic profile to my cloning tank. Don't make the same mistake, Greystill Place. Bind yourself to it. Yes, anyone who doesn't bind their genetic material to a cloning tank is a jackass. I will not follow his poor example of hurricane-like behavior. Interact with a cloning tank to save and get a new earthly body if you die. Okay, so that's the game style of save functions, I guess. Does, does that mean that right now I'm a clone? So do I have a soul? I wonder. Maybe that's a little bit too deep for the game. When dying, you drop your inventory and equipment, or not, depending on your settings. So that must be the death penalty. You can still go back and recover it by returning to the place of your death, indicated on the world map. Alright. Uh, F for next. Consider storing your important items in chests before going off to dangerous areas. Yeah, I hate losing crap. So let's go ahead and bind. And let's go back over here and talk to our, uh, our master with the fortune cookie of knowledge. Very well, Greystill Place. My old master used to tell me that death is only a reconstruction. I, I guess. It seems to apply even more to you clones. So, is this guy not a clone? The cloning tag is essential in the life of a clone. Always remember to bind yourself before taking any risk. As for your brother, I unfortunately do not know where he went. Well, thanks. This was a giant waste of time. Well, except for the cloning portion. I really appreciate that, buddy. But you should ask the other villagers. Someone must have seen him. Come see me when you know more about him. All right. So, interrogate other villagers about Xander. Notice all this stuff. Man, I'm going to destroy. I'm going to wreck this whole place when I get the ability to do so. So, I, I saw a farmer. Wasn't he? Yeah, he's right over here. I'm sure he knows something. Your brother disappeared? Well, now that you say it. Hey, baby, why? I gotta give these people different voices, so this guy is gonna be, uh, kinda nasally, like I am. Hey, baby, the one I saw walking last night when I was on my way back home with the peacocks. <laughs> with my peacocks? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this was a terrible idea to give this guy this voice. <laughs> well, just, I'm just walking with my peacocks, you know how it is. Every once in a while, I go out with the jog with the peacocks. The best kind. Uh, I was afraid it could be a robot. It's a search near your favorite tree. I saw him snooping around over there. I, I don't know, though. Sometimes I look too strongly at my peacocks. I miss things. You boys know how it is. Uh, find a clue near the blue tree. Well, unless my ability to non-differentiate color is really acting up, I'm pretty sure that tree's blue because the rest of them, well, that one's red. And those are pink. Okay, so there's a lot of colors in this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a blue tree. What did that say? Briar cone pine wood? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Well, that's cool. What the hell? Taiga bush. Oh, cool. Okay, so that must be the actual color of the tree then. Sweet. So first, Gray has to do a little jumping game, which he's absolutely fantastic at. Oh, that was actually very, very simplistic. Gray still plays. What a terrible name. Now that I think about it, I probably should have had a better name. Everyone's just calling me Gray still plays. I have no doubt about your ability to find this message. We spent so much time playing together under this tree when we were kids. As you probably noticed, I left the village last night. I couldn't stand staying here doing nothing in this too peaceful place while robots of the Machiria Machina, Imperium Machina, invade our planet. So I decided to join the rebel faction from Mercs. If one day you want to find me, I'm sure you'll manage to locate our camp. I know many in the village will be disappointed by my departure. Lee King pay first, but my decision is irrevocable. I want to protect the village to protect you, and I also want to show my courage to everyone. You know, you'll have to go out a little to see the world by yourself one day or another. I miss you already, little brother. Well, thanks for abandoning me, Xander. The master speaketh. He left to the rebel camp. And those damn rebels are always taking everyone from us. When fear is not on watch, watch for what you fear. Oh, this is one of those guys. What you do is you take a sentence, and then you say it in reverse. And it's wisdom. Okay, so what do they say? The one's like, if you if you don't master your fear, then fear will become your master. That's all you gotta do. You can take anything and reverse it, and it sounds awesome. I must teach you something, Grace still plays. With the recent arrival of the Imperium Machina and their murderous robots on our sweet planet, some clones under the leadership of an unknown crazy person on Estara took arms against them. I've always told you regulate things before disorder begins. So if we reverse that, it would be disorder begins. When you don't regulate things. Yeah. Well, the rebels are doing the exact opposite. They use violence against violence. I hate to tell you, man, but uh, in games like this, violence against violence typically does pretty damn good at furthering the quest line. I understand that you want to find your brother, but the threat of the robots is too big for you to go without equipment. 
Go and see Arthas, our master builder. He may be able to help you. You'll find him in the village, surely in his house. Okay, good. Found him. Now, if ever, if ever I were to see a builder, this is exactly what I would expect. Wizened appearance, giant at. What is that over there? Is that another farmer? Yeah, it's gotta be another farmer. Giant ass eyebrows and some cool glasses. Tell me all about it, Arthas. Oh, hello, Grace Two Place. You come from Lee King Pay, right? Indeed. Oh wait, hold on. This guy is just like the. Uh, this guy is basically the Deckard Kane of the of the of the game here. So uh, indeed, if you have gone outside the village, you'll need to equip yourself better. A new adventurer <laughs> comes forward to fight Diablo. What you need is a good old digging gauntlet. The problem is, I lost mine at the village. I can't find it anywhere. I forget everything recently. Welcome to getting old. You must not be a clone. Will you help me if you find it? I will teach you the art of mining. If I remember it, of course. Meanwhile, you could dig without a gauntlet, but only one block at a time. It's so long. Oh, I see you don't have a backpack. Well, I'll give you one so you can store your resources acquired by mining and find new weapons and armor to fight the Lords of Chaos. Come on! Find my gauntlet in the village so I can teach you my art, Grace to Place. Perhaps some villagers saw it. I'll bet. Whoa, okay, epic discovery. Okay, so now we have an action bar. Also, if we go to I. We have a big ass backpack here, which I like to see. Sometimes, you know, sometimes like weight limits and backpacks are good for a game, but I always find myself annoyed at not being able to carry enough. Was there a dude wandering around out there? That does not look like a farmer. That looks like a spaceman right there. We'll go check him out in a little bit. Let's go talk to one of the farmers over here. There's some. Something is shining inside the well, but I'm too scared to go look. Oh, come on, you spoon licker. Just jumped. Is there fall damage in this game? Yep, there sure is. Oh, I just got my ass kicked. Oh, and I found the gauntlet. You've got the digging gauntlet. Digging gauntlet level one. Uh, okay, so from what I understand, I already looked through this. You can change through the types of digging by pressing the X key. So it looks like dig mode, blocks, meta blocks, cables, dig everything. I want the big one. Yes! Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we can We can wreck some stuff with this. It looks like kind of like a um What is this? You notice how it's like um a Tetris style block? Hold on, can I mess around with this? Can I make it So it looks like like almost like a Tetris style of block and then just like a regular block. Let's do dig mode everything. Yeah, and we're picking stuff up now. That's what I'm talking about. So now you get to figure out how to get out of here. Um, actually, screw it. Why walk up when we can blast our way out? There we go. Remember, the whole world's destructible. I love it when a game allows you to absolutely destroy everything. That's how you get out of problems, boys. And what's cool is, is that you can solve issues in the game and stuff by thinking literally outside the box. Hey, Arthas, you left your freaking glove in a well. You found it at the b you found it at the bottom of the well. I really am becoming senile. A new earthly body would do me good. Yes, it's a cloning chamber, man. It's all the rage these days. Holy. As promised, I'll give you the gauntlet. I'll craft another one for myself later. You have many things to learn about mining, but I see that you're in a hurry, so I transferred all my knowledge into your guide. Read it with a tab. It's important. Now that you have the gauntlet, you should go see Celia. She should be able to help you craft something to protect yourself on the road to the rebel camp. Be brave, race to plays. I'm sure you'll manage to bring Xantax. Sounds like a, sounds like a pill now. It sounds like some sort of, uh, some sort of opiate back home. I guess Xander, sorry. I warned you in a few minutes, I will have forgotten again. Luckily we got the gauntlet from this guy when we could. So now that we have this gauntlet, this gauntlet, we can wreck everything if we want. Look at this. You could put a hole right in this guy's house. So we... <laughs> I think I found Joe's place. Okay. If Joe can sit in the zen posture while lifting weights and levitating, he's actually a little bit more badass than I thought. Is it these dumbbells? Can I grab these? Oh, I can't. The level of some blocks is too high. Okay, yes, yeah, so you do have to upgrade your gauntlet eventually. I'll bet a lot of the common blocks I can beat up, but... So how about, like, this light? Yep, totally took the light. That's crazy. Okay, so let's go back over to... Oh, no, Celia. Okay, so Celia is this girl over here. 
says, Hi, Graystool, please. I don't need to ask you how you feel. I can clearly see it. You're worried. Master Lee King Pei told me everything if you want to know. I've been thinking about joining the rebels myself since a long time. Now I'm sick of seeing those robots everywhere destroying our beautiful planet Mercs. I almost created a pistol to feel protected for the day of my departure, but Master Lee King Pei surprised me while I was making it and prevented me from finishing it. Great, strict gun laws over here on Mercs, thanks to the ma thanks to the master. What? You want to craft a pistol too? Well, I must admit that if you hope to survive and travel to the rebel camp, you certainly must own a gun. Wow. All right. I guess uh, outside the city walls isn't exactly. This is like the other side of the tracks or something on Mercs. It's you're gonna get waylaid by robots. They're gonna take my lunch money and I guess kill me. I don't know. Send me back to the cloning chamber. Very well. I'll help you, Gray. Still, please. But first. I'll teach you the basics of crafting. Let's start simply make a fruit juice. I transfer my knowledge into your guide. Read it using tab. For fruit juice, begin by picking red currants in my garden's bushes with your gauntlet, then use the cooking machine. Okay. So, beyond building... Oh, you know what? Let's do a little bit of... I'm just gonna do, like, real quick building. So, like, we have, um... Like, we have dirt over here. We can move it in, into our inventory. And, okay, so you could press left click, okay, and so you can put down, like, blocks and stuff like that, okay, pretty, pretty simplistic. Now, if you want, you can click and drag, and you could build stuff that way. And then on top of that, you could change the, um, the shape of the block. So, obviously, you have squares, but check this out. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. Look at this! You could have angles and stuff. You could have, like, the cutout angle, like that right there. That's awesome, because that gives you the ability to make all, like, like, legitimate bushes. Instead of just, like, having blocks and having to make them all, like, super blocular. To have angles is really sweet. You get, like, cherry blossoms and stuff like that. All right, let's go bust up this girl's red currants over here. Okay, we've got a whole crap load of them now. Ochre dirt as well, and grassland bush. Um, so these things over here are the crafting areas. This one is processing. So processing is for like the refining of stuff, turning like um, like iron ore into iron and stuff like that. But this is a cooking machine. So over here, it tells you what we know right now. There's a bunch of stuff that's locked. We know how to make red currant juice. It's like food. Don't feel good? Sip this delicious and healthy fruit juice made from fresh and tasty red currants. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and max it out so we can craft four. Go ahead and craft. And the crafting is pretty fast in this game, which I'm pretty happy about. So we just made a bunch of them. We'll go ahead and uh, throw these into our hot bar because why not? Yeah, throw these into our hot bar. Let's go over here and finish up the quest. Uh, great. Now you know the basics of crafting. We're gonna make a pistol. Don't tell Lee King Pei, okay? I transferred the recipe into my secret machine. I hid it because I didn't want Lee King Pei to find it. So search a little inside my house and don't hesitate to dig and find it. Look at the recipe closely. To know the ingredients needed. You should find everything you need in the jars inside the village houses. Even if it's kind of like robbery. Well, I haven't seen any cops. So I guess it really doesn't matter. Sometimes a resource must be refined before using it. For example, iron ore must be processed to get iron metal ingots. So you have to use multiple crafting stations to do so. Take the time to carefully look at everything in the recipes and in your guide. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make it. So this girl gave us the okay to bust everything up. So. Oh yeah, look. Right over here, look. Oh, we got the pot as well. That's funny. You get the large pot, but we also got aluminum ore, garnets. We got all kinds of crap. So, I guess... Can we blast some of these blocks I can destroy? Uh, okay. So, let's go upstairs. Even more materials. Looks like there's more stairs going up. And what is this? Oh, this is our bed. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to blast your bed. Oh. It's nothing. It's, um... Hold on. I think I... Oh, yep. There you go. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it. Bust all this up. There we go. So, yeah. Here we go. Look at this right over here. Weapons crafting. So here we need steel, which we already have a bunch of. And we need aluminum. So if we go over to the processing station. What is this? Can I grab any of this? No. If we go over to the processing station, I have a feeling we're already going to have a lot of the stuff that we need. I think the processing. Yeah, right over here. So over here we have... Um, we have recipes for iron, aluminum, and copper. And then there's other stuff. Look at this. There's alloys. There's materials. So you have glass and energy material. I think that's for your weapon. And then there's constructs, which we can't use right now. So let's go over here to aluminum. I'm just going to max it out. We'll make 30 aluminum chunklets. Uh, copper. Can we make any of that? No. But we can make iron. So let's max that out. And then let's go over here and max out steel. 
We're gonna make all of that, and I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to make a pistol with everything we just got because we just got a ton of crap. All right, over here. Yeah, see, right over here. We uh, we okay. Epic music. We did it again. Pistol. Rarity common, family weapons, blast radius is two blocks, X to switch between ammo types, ooh, okay, um, oh, it already put it in our hotbar, so, let me see something, oh, I just cracked open an ice cold red currant juice, sound like a, sound like a soda, cracking open a Coca-Cola over there, looks like we have 50, 50 laser ammo, oh, okay, uh, can I make ammo, oh, I sure can, look at this, Laser ammo. Oh, okay, okay. You need garnets and you need steel. Actually, I want all of this. Quite honestly. Holy crap! I. D oh, times 10! Yes! We have 270 ammo. We had like 50. That seemed like crap. Now we have a ton. Well done. That, that pistol is superb, but don't tell Lee Kung Pei, all right? All right, will do. Oh, Master Leaking Pay, I disobeyed your order. Sorry, man, but you're never gonna know. <laughs> or not. But what are you doing with that gun, Greystoke Place? What, you see it sticking out of my waistband? Did Celia build this har? Well, technically, not exactly. I asked you to better equip yourself in order to parlay with the rebels, not in order to shoot everyone and destroy everything. You should not allow hatred to approach you, Greystoke Place. Because hatred leads to fear, and fear leads to anger, and anger leads to me destroying the planet with my incredible powers. Violence is only an argument for the weakest ones. Anyway, we need to prepare for your departure. Luckily, it turns out that the rebel leader on Mercs is one of my former disciples. Orko? Okay. He had some kind of- he had the same kind of character as your brother. Always agitated. He got angry against the whole world without even trying to understand that I protected him to make him stronger. You need to talk to him and ask him to give you Xander back. Tell him you come from me. Come from you like you're my daddy? Or come for you like you sent me? I'm gonna go ahead and say that like he sent me. Although I guess having the village elder as your dad isn't exactly a bad thing. I'll give you my cartography terminal. Oh, sweet. Thanks, dad. As well as the approximate location of the rebel camp. Be careful Grace still plays and come back safe and sound. Oh, yes. Okay, sweet. I was praying to God that this was a thing. So we have a mini map now, which is excellent. And I think you can press, yeah, M gives you a overview of the, this is like our planet over here. So this is like the, um, our little world and the rebel camp is this giant block. Which direction am I facing? Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's mess around with something real quick. I want to show you guys something. So... We have our gauntlet of power. We have our firearm of godliness. Let me go ahead and... <laughs> doors? I don't use doors. I just break through everything as I please. You gave me the gauntlet of freaking destructication. Oh. Is that a squirrel? There's a bunch of squirrels looming around. The hell is that? Look at this. Is this a porcupine? I think that's a porcupine. I don't know. I think that's what that is. There's another critter flip-flopping around over here. Now, I think that, yes, look, this is the edge of the world, and if you swap, look at this! We're on a different edge of the world now, and the world, like, changed a little bit, but gravity changed, and we're not, like, flipping off. And this is this next side of the planet, so sweet. Look at all the stuff out here! There's, let's say, Valerian? And there's Clovers? And there's freaking, look at all the stuff, man. All this stuff is gettable. Daisies and stuff. I think they said there's like 200 different materials in the game. That's insane. Like, I don't even know what I can do with half of this stuff. That's what I mean. It's hard to give you guys a totally good rundown of the entire game. And like, we didn't have even really done a lot of building yet. So it looks like this is the rebel camp. Uh. Oh, I know. I probably have to blast my way inside. That's how the game goes, man. If, it, if life gives you lemons, you make your own hole to get inside. That's That doesn't make any sense at all. Let me get, continue to blast my way through here with my gauntlet of high society. I think, oh, I think we're almost there. You can see some of these, some of these different little areas I can't seem to get through. There we go. And we... <laughs> well, I guess there was a front door. 
That's too bad. What the hell? Oh! Hover my cockpit. Oh. I get... Oh, it works! Hold on. Kid, is this like Grand Theft Hoverbike or something like that? Am I allowed to have this? I think... Hold on, let me bust through this. Let me bust through the window over here. Let's see if I can take all this out. I gotta see if we can drive this thing. Because I knew I, I knew I got a cockpit, but I didn't think I would get a flying hoverbike. This is awesome. Hold on. Yes! Uh, <laughs> now we're talking, boys. Now we're talking. Oh, by the way, you can customize your hoverbike. Like, this hoverbike is mostly made for us. But we can also do stuff to the hoverbike and mess around with adding blocks and stuff like that. You can make space shuttles. People have made all kinds of stuff. So let's go down here. This looks like the area into the rebel base. If we continue to go down this way. There we go. Alright, so here we are in the bottom. We have to find Orko. Oh, wow. Okay, holy crap. Uh, yeah, that's a big area. Found him. It's the one guy with the kind of blondish hair over here. Everyone else is wearing, like, the, uh, the Buzz Lightyear hats. But the one guy that isn't seems to be Orko. Guys, who is it? And what is he doing here with his childlike pistol and ridiculous fruit juices? What the hell? That, you know, a lot of work went into that red currant juice. Tell me, how did you manage to come here, kid? Why didn't anybody stop you? Because I blasted them. Actually, I didn't have to do anything. I just kind of walked down here. So you're coming from Lee King Pei. Grandpa's never going to let go, huh? So what does he want? Your brother, you mean the crazy fella? Who went by in a flash and stole our weapons to go and fight the Mercs robots alone? You know, everyone here says I'm strong-headed, but your brother? He's totally insane. Well, I guess that's the reason you came to bring him back to the village, isn't it? The problem is he hasn't returned yet. He must have been captured. Awesome. And you won't be able to help him with that laughable equipment. Alright, since you seem to insist, you'll try to do our rebel training. Yes, I've always wanted to be a rebel. You really have to get better equipment before you help your brother. Go see Trevor, our weapons master. He'll give you the first mission. Now get out of my sight. Oh, Trevor! What a fantastic name for a weapons master. Oh, there's a cloning station over here. Let's go and hit that first. Oh, it's a level 2 cloning tank. I don't know what that means. Like, is it better than the level 1 cloning tank? I found Trevor. Unfortunately, Trevor's missing half of his face. He's got, like, some sort of ri robotic face over here. So you're the new one we have to train. <laughs> Meh. Thanks for... Thanks for being so excited to see me. I'll only do it because Orko asked me and I obey my leader's orders. Your brother stole my weapon, so I won't trust you so easily. That's why, for your first mission, you have to bring me something that interests me personally. Uh, okay. It's nearly my son's birthday. He's passionate about gems. His favorite is the Moonstones. They can be found in grottos, approximately 150 blocks below the surface. I don't have any time for... Speleology? Speleology. 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 Mmm. Pronunciation, my strong suit. So if you bring me back these gems, I will change my mind about you and offer you a nice reward. I'll give you this jetpack. Oh, I get my reward up front. It's like having dessert first because you seem so clumsy that you could get stuck in a cave forever. Great. Ah! I just, I was walking around. Ah, I'm getting shot by something. Holy crap! There's creatures here. Get wrecked! Taste the power of my laser beam! Oh, I just got the living crap kicked out of me. Uh, where's my healing bombs at? There we go. There we are. Now we're doing a little bit better. I, I like came over here by this. Cr Where? What were you guys doing? You guys gonna help a brother out? There we go. Wrecked. Wrecked. As the time it is, we've got like a um. It's like a wrecked spaceship. Look at this. Right over here. There's a cockpit. Can I fly this? Um, it doesn't appear to fly. But it may have blocks that we need. Yeah, look at this. Metal plate unbreakable. Pain. Like in... Ah, hover bike cockpit. Yeah, so you can grab the cockpit. Oh, there's a chest in here. What's in here? Garnets, coal ore, aluminum. There's all kinds of crap. I want all of it. Oh! Oh! We found a, we found like a, um, like a little procedurally generated craft or something like that. That's awesome. Oh, there's like metal plates everywhere that we can grab. All right, so we're going deep. Deep. This cave goes way down. I think this is what we need. Because we need to malachite. Okay. That's not what I want. Where's moonstone at? It's got to be down here somewhere. We have gone down pretty far. Oh, that looks cool. How about that? Uh, 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 yep, Moonstone. 
Right there. Right there. Got it. Got it. Oh, I just have to I just have to get close enough to grab it. Boom! Got it. 45 of it. Got a whole bunch of chalk too. Alright, let me see if I can get out of here. When you can't find an exit, Grace says make your own. Man, I found all kinds of stuff blowing the living hell out of this planet. That was awesome. Got your gemstones. I managed to core to the bottom of the earth too. Wow, these moonstones are so beautiful. Thanks, my son will love them. You deserve it. I'll give you some medicinal bombs. Thank you, because I use them all. And the recipe to make them. You'll really need them for the most dangerous missions. Talk to Orko. He said he just had a special mission for you. Whoa! All right, so we just got three more medicinal bombs. In fact, I'm going to use all of them because our heart is looking like crap right now. I think I'm going to crack open an ice cold red current too. Because our hunger, which you can see kind of in the, um, to the right of the heart. See the little, like, it looks almost like a steaming bowl. Kind of open up our red current juices and fill that up. Where's our, where's our man at? I think he's over here. Orko, tell me all about it, my brother. Trevor told me you handled the mission quite well. You may not be as stupid as your brother. Thanks, buddy. Because he's too proud. Trevor probably didn't tell you that he led an expedition to find your brother during your absence, but they were caught by a bunch of robots who stole their equipment. And not just any equipment. A brand new block thrower and a vulpine armor. If you knew how to use it properly, it could help you save your brother. Our scout spotted robots around the observational station not far from here. They must be the ones who took the equipment. The observation stations were previously used by the clones to monitor the flora and fauna of each side of the planet. Imperial Machina took possession of these facilities and they're using them to heavily monitor the population of Marks. We must take back the nearest station. Here's your mission. Find the observation station, hack the monitoring terminal, and bring back the Vulpine armor and the block Thor. I almost forgot. I'm going to give you a very special object for this dangerous mission, an ESD. It's an object that allows you to keep your equipment should you die. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thanks to the ESD, if you get killed, you can reappear at the last cloning tank while keeping your equipment. But be careful, the object is single use. Alright, it disappears from your inventory. Alright, boys. We got a mission. We gotta go whip that ass. Where am I ride at? We're taking the hover bike for this, boys. It's the only way. Oh, the observational post is actually really, really close by. Let's go fly out. Now, is there like a boost on this, I wonder? I'm pressing the, I'm pressing the uh, shift button. Doesn't seem to be. I mean, it moves pretty fast, don't get me wrong. Right over here. Go ahead and set her down. I see a squirrel in the distance looking at me wrong. So over here, we have a door of which we can't dig through. So, oh, well, hi there, little thing that happens to be open. Oh, you can get rid of some of the panels too. Well, that's nice. Luckily, there's a cloning station down here. So now we have to go ahead and circumvent the lasers. I'm actually really curious about something. Hold on, I want to try something. Um, alt. Now, if I do this. Oh! Hold on! Oh, wow, the laser goes right through the dirt! Okay. Um, hold on a second. Let me. What else do I have? Chalk, energy material, metal plate. I wonder. I want to. I'm going to mess with something. Hold on. How about if I use metal plates? Does it beam through that too? Yep, beams right through it. Alright, so we're probably gonna have to use our jet pack. There. Crouch under this one. And then just kind of go around here. There we go! I'm gonna take my gat out for this because you never know when things might go haywire. Use. You got the Volbine armor! Okay, now I know you go C for character. And then you can drag stuff. There- wow! Okay. Now I look like a spaceman. Now, oh wow, there's a lot of attributes here. Hunger, nine out of a hundred. Our hunger should be good. I just drank a bunch of red currants. How can I be so hungry? Um, well, crap. Apparently, I should have. Uh, apparently, I should have brought a whole bunch more red currants. Can I just eat the little? Oh, you can. I'm gonna go eat all these red currants. Are we're still pretty hungry? But let's go down here a little bit real quick just to see what else. We can see it. Whoa! Oh, hi there, teleportation pad of power and greatness. How are you doing? All right, let's continue on here. What the hell? Okay, hi. How are you doing? What is this? What the hell? Ow! What the crap? Holy crap! Ouch! What the hell? I'm getting blasted! Ah! There's evil crypt. <laughs> oh, I was solely unprepared for this. Okay, hold on here. 
You little guys are pissing me off. There. You see those little guys over there? Oh, you can only blast them when they activate. Can I blow that thing up? No, I can't. Can I harvest these things? Oh, you can! Metal panel. Ar Arcaloid? Did I literally just pick up the bad guys? I did. What's an Arcaloid? Arcaloid. It's an Arcaloid. Okay. Well, hold on. Seven. There. What do you do? Little Arcaloid. I can build with it. I, I don't exactly know what it does. Can I mine this little creature over here that was... Oh, crap. I don't have the right thing up. Don't blast me. Don't blast me. Okay, good. Nope. Can't do it. Meta blocks not of your faction. Oh, okay. So I have to be of the right faction. Uh, I got to take my gun back out because that was crazy. Okay, so don't get too close to the Arkaloids over there because they will beat your ass. I know you're evil. I had to, I had to whoop your ass before. We got energy material over there, which is... Ah! I'm pretty sure that was a turret. And F to use a door? Maybe this way? Ah! Yep, that was the way. Okay, found the way. Another teleportation area. Okay, oh wow, oh wow. All right, this is a little bit more extreme. Hold on. There we go. Take down all these scumbags. Uh. Uh. And I see one more. Boom, right there. I I have a feeling those guys were bad guys. Um, and it looks like, what the hell was that? So, ow, ow, ow. Oh, it's my hunger. My hunger is killing me. All right, that's fine. I should have brought more red currant juice. Anyway, guys, I wanted to get the opportunity to show you at least a little bit of this game. Again, man, I couldn't even get a lot of this done like there's so much building and so much crafting that you could do houses spaceships entire planets it's 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 crazy and um i really like what the guys are doing here i love the the way that you can kind of get around problems by digging around them so like there's not just one way to get into a place and that's kind of cool like oh there was a front door to the rebel base but i kind of just made my own I'd really like to get like a spaceship made or something like that. Um, but if I looked, I looked on the workshop and again, people made all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed Stellar Overload. Again, links in the description if you want to check it out. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.